Hey guys, Lance here once again Best Day MTB and today it's the Trail Fork series. We've switched over to Riverhead Forest here in Auckland. Um, we're going to do a track called Baconator down is 1.2 kilometres down, 3 metres of climbing but 105 metres of descent and it's down as a sort of dark blue trail here on Trail Forks. Track conditions today are somewhere between wet and is that a puddle or a pond? Um, so it could be interesting, a bit slippery. Um, got the Garmin with me, uh, so if it's a satellite uh, locator beacon, if I have any problems, so if, if you guys know about that one. Um, but anyway, uh, come join me for what might be a slippery ride. I must admit, not all the trails are completely signposted in Riverhead, but most of them are, and I'll show you what this one looks like. So it has a little sign stuck on the tree uh, called Baconator. Now I must admit, I haven't ridden in Riverhead, last time I rode it was bone dry, it's had almost uh, six weeks of raining every single day, except today it's not raining, so I can already feel that it's pretty slippery. So we're going to be going a little bit careful, yep. Oops, that's all, it's burning ears to the left. Okay, she's slippery. Okay, that wasn't quite how I planned it actually. Um, yeah, let's say it is slippery, shall we? Um, anyway, that was mostly down to poor technique on my part. Um, but yeah, I haven't ridden anything that slippery for a while. So anyway, we shall uh, continue on um, even more carefully. Alrighty, actually did manage to catch my screen there. Um, I'm quite glad that I actually moved it off the top of the stem because it probably would have broken off. Alrighty, yep, she's slippery, all right? All right, what do you reckon about this? Whoa, that's slippery. Okay, maybe I should have stuck to making Woodhill Trail Forks videos for a while, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Uh, let's do a bit of trail maintenance, shall we? Someone else doesn't need to ride over that. All right, on we go. Now if you're wondering why this track's called Baconator, it's quite an old track out of here at Riverhead, but the police force had a uh, downhill race, so I, I guess that's where, you know, Baconator came from. Whoa! I'm not lying, this stuff is super greasy today. You can just feel both wheels just going all over the place. Certainly in summer, rides completely differently this place. Whoa, the back just got... Might need to let some air out, I think. Been riding sort of woodhill conditions. Ooh, okay. Normally I take the top line, but I'm going to be look super off camera and skiddy. Right. All right, so I always give you a feature, and this is a real feature. Uh, let's give you a quick gander. All right, so you've got to come down this hill, which is normally not an issue at all, but today um, it's a lot slipperier than I was planning. Uh, you come down here, bit of a nice slippery rut, and then down a kind of slippery bank onto a, a bridge and then into some slop on the other side. Now, normally I'd probably give you line choices, but I think if we get down, we're never getting back up again. So um, we'll just try and get any line that we can get down. Okay, so my recommendation is do not ride this in winter. Uh, well, you can, but anyway, today it is unbelievably slippery. Fell over twice just trying to set the cameras up. Decided it was a bad idea and decided to bail on the project. Except I realised I still have to ride down. So anyway, we might as well continue. All right, I've taken more time than being Cathro looking at line options. And I'm gonna try, whoa. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 we're down. All right, we got that bit done line options and I'm going to try whoa Alright, you may think I'm a little bit crazy um, and probably right, I probably shouldn't have started this track although I have ridden it in winter before I've also crashed on it before as well um, the funny thing is you realise 
that it's hard, it's easier to ride than walk. I just literally slip over when I try and walk on this stuff. So it's easier on the bike than walking. So there's no B route, so I literally have to ride down. All right, the next slightly sketchy bit is onto this bridge, which normally isn't a problem, but as you can see, it's clay and it's off camber. So, all right, we'll do that. Okay, this is a this bigger line, but, oh yeah, that's all right. No worries at all. This bigger line, but, Well, that effectively is Baconator. The rest of the ride is just sort of an undulating uh, trail along here. Uh, it's probably where they get the three meters of climbing in. Um, I probably won't go all the way to the very end out to the road because there'll be some disgusting puddles like this one, which I should have gone the other line. Whoa, see, you just about disappear in the mud. You think they're not that deep, but they're seriously deep. Riverhead's famous for its mega deep puddles. The main reason for that is that the motocross riders often will ride a lot of the trails and because they'll dig super deep holes on the trails that would never happen with mountain biking. Yeah, this must be the little climb. Yes, you can ride it in winter, but I definitely say it's a, it's a grade five in winter. Um, the course on the track in the summer actually I really enjoy it you can go really fast down that hill um, and just straight over the edge but today oh it's super saying that there's some tire tracks down here someone's been in that there before there are a lot of hardy souls that ride around here all the year round they don't mind a bit of slippery clay but anyway it does give you a an idea of what it's like, um, certainly in winter anyway. So at this point here, Baconator goes, technically on Trail Forks, continues all the way down to the left there, to the road, but I'm gonna go back up the hill because it's much nicer. Well, that was Baconator on a typical wet Auckland day. Um, ended up going down three times in the end and only one of them actually on the bike. Uh, it was so slippery, um, I realised that, uh, as I say, it was too slippery to walk down, so I ended up riding down. Didn't take the line I would normally take. In summer, it's completely different, super dry, super grippy, whole different ball game. Um, if you're a really good rider and you like the wet stuff, yeah, go for it. Um, if you've enjoyed the video so far and you don't think I'm a complete nutter, um, love it if you subscribe, leave a comment, uh, thumbs up, like, and all that sort of thing. And we'll see you on the next trail.